morning guys it is a new weekly vlog today is monday first monday i've actually filmed in quite a while because normally i seem to just slump really badly on a monday and i don't know why that is i just I, for some reason mondays are just not a good day for me so today we're actually heading over to harrods because sam has got a collaboration with them on some menswear stuff so he's got to take some pictures i said i'd come along and help him out so we're gonna head over there in a little bit and just get that done and then i need to return a coach to zara because i bought a coat a couple of weeks ago and i really like it but it just doesn't fit very well like the shoulders are just a bit too narrow and i just don't really like the fit and the pockets are really far back so taking that one back and i've actually got a huge order from zara coming tomorrow um alongside a h&m one because i wanted to get a few new like basics and i'm trying to actively get away from wearing jeans so i ordered a few different trousers and stuff to get me out of wearing jeans because I just feel like I wear them all the time and whether it's like leather jeans or blue jeans or white jeans or black jeans like I don't really tend to venture far from that so that was basically my reasoning behind all the orders and also I've got a few trips coming up that I wanted to get some clothes for so yeah the reason I'm waving this around is because I actually want to talk about this quickly so I was gifted this a couple of weeks ago and it is a nude sticks magnetic lip plush paint and this is the shade Bahama Mama and it's so nice so I just went through my drawer this morning and was like oh I fancy trying a different nude out because I wear the same two nudes on repeat and I thought I'd give something new a Go, and this is so nice like so it's basically just like a really cute little like almost liquid lipstick kind of applicator but in a little like lip glossy tube and it's really nice and I've actually got two shades of this to try out so I tried this one today and it's really nice because it's not far off my natural lip color but also like it doesn't look like I've got too much of a lip product on but it's really nice and kind of there so it makes me feel nice but it doesn't look like I've got a lot on also you may notice I am leaving my hair natural today I'm getting it done on Wednesday so I thought I'd just give it a bit of a break and I put a hair mask in overnight so I mixed together two different hair masks so Olaplex number no. three and Bondi Boost um, intensive mask and then I basically just left it on overnight washed my hair like normal this morning and just whacked in the Olaplex 6 and 7 which is like the leave-in conditioner and the hair oil so hopefully it will be nice and controlled it does get very frizzy so I'm a bit worried it's going to suddenly be like oh in a few hours because I've still got a bit of like wet hair at the back but we'll see what happens but my washing's just finished so I'm going to go get that out and then I think we're going to head out Good morning. Yesterday was a fail, wasn't it? I literally did one clip and then stopped vlogging. So I think today I'm gonna make it my aim to make sure I vlog a lot more and try and get like an actual substantial vlog put together. So I'm actually gonna head over to an event later with my friend Lauren and it's a Thomas Saba event. It's like flower arranging and lunch. So gonna be really good fun and definitely We'll try and take you with me. I'm not, I don't think I'm very good at flower arranging, so we'll see what that turns out like, but hopefully it's okay. And then following that, I'm actually gonna try and go and get my nails done because they are looking abysmal. And I have trips to Venice coming up. I've also got like my hair being done tomorrow and my Invisalign and stuff. So I kind of want this week to be like a new woman. Like all these different parts of me are changing. And I don't really know. Basically, I'm just having a lot of random bits done like in one go. It wasn't necessarily planned to be that way. It just kind of all fell on the same two days because they were the days I had free when I was booking stuff. But anyway, I'm going to pop on a YouTube video and do my hair and my makeup. I was planning on leaving my hair natural for the week, but I've actually changed my mind and think I want to do it a kind of style as opposed to just mess because I always feel like I'm not dressed properly when my hair's messy. Is that really weird? Like I used to really love having it like natural and beachy and stuff, but... I just don't, I know it sounds really stupid because now it's short, technically it should be left natural more. Um, but I just don't really like it when I leave it natural. So I'm going to make it straight and then obviously tomorrow it's being done. And it'll be curly because I like it when he curls it and not when I curl it. So I'm going to let him curl it and leave it for a week curly. <laughs> yeah, here comes a time lapse. Okay, fast forward a few hours because I completely forgot to film doing my makeup and stuff, but I'm now dressed and ready to go, wearing pretty similar to yesterday. So I've got a black roll neck on, I've got a little cream blazer, both are from H&M. Oh my god, coat is as well actually. I'm basically wearing all H&M apart from the belt and the jeans are just black jeans from weekday. And then for my bag today, I'm using my little Marc Jacobs snapshot because I haven't actually used this bag in a while and I quite like the kind of tones. But as I mentioned, I am heading off to the Thomas Sabo event now. I'm actually going a bit early. Like, I don't really need to leave until... Okay, I'm actually not going early. 
how funny it's 10 <laughs> it's 10 20 i thought it was 10 past 10 and i need to leave at 20 past and it's actually 20 past so so in that case i'm actually going to be getting going now i'm just making sure all the lights and stuff are turned off our house is a bit of a it's really tidy at the moment because we tidied last night but it's a bit of a mess in terms of like there's just all the washing and stuff but yeah i'm gonna head off and i'll catch up with you in a little bit when i'm at the breakfast Okay, I've been back a little while and I've just slicked my hair back and chucked my clothes back on after the gym and thought I would quickly show you some gifting bits that came in before Sam and I go for our date night dinner. So we're trying to make it into a little habit of going for like date night every now and then because it's so easy to end up not going on one. So we're having a little date night, aren't we? Yes, oh my god, I look dreadful. No, you don't, you look nice. You sat playing a little Sudoku. I'm such an old man. <laughs> I mean, you play Sudoku, no, I play cross Stitch. I genuinely find it so relaxing and just it just chills me out and to be fair i am relaxed anyway but it just kills time but also just yeah relaxes me yeah also i think it's quite a good thing because it's like it helps your brain as well as yeah. relaxing you so it's not like you're doing nothing i'm going to quickly show you these two parcels that have just turned up and also where is it this is the necklace i just got from thomas sabo so i actually got a matching necklace and earrings but the earrings i took out because obviously I don't want to wear them in the gym but this necklace is so cute it's just like a half leaf design it's really really sweet and also it looks quite nice just with like a classic back roll neck which is something i love it's kind of the necklace that i would wear on its own because i'm quite bad for like layering but sometimes it's nice to just be a little bit more minimal but anyway side tracking these are the flowers <laughs> um side tracking this is what i got today in the post so where can i set you up to do this if i set you on there I'm actually hidden by clothes here, so I'm very dark. You're literally sat in the washing. It's fine. You can't see it. Okay, I'm going to quickly show you what I got today. So first up, as you can see, there is a gigantic GHD box, which is so exciting because I've actually been a lover of the brand for many, many years. I've had one, for a pair of GHDs for as long as I can remember. I'm desperate to try out some of their like curlers and stuff. I've got a hairdryer from them. I use some of their hair products. Like really, really, really love the brand, like genuinely, no ad. I really like them. And they have very kindly sent me the Professional Styler in the Deep Scarlet Limited Edition colour, which is for Valentine's Day. So I'll just quickly show you what this looks like. I've actually still got... Oh, I'm losing everything on the floor. I've actually still got GHDs from... Basically, when they very first came out, and they were really square, and then they released like a newer version that are like a little bit more rounded. I still have those ones, and I think I've had them for like nearly 10 years now, and they are still going strong. So I'm quite excited by these ones, but I'm also kind of like really still wanting to hold on to my old ones because they've still got a lot of life left in them so i might have to kind of give those ones up and move to this one but this is the new style which i've heard is amazing and apparently it's a lot better for curling with straighteners so this kind of style oh my god i'm literally dropping everything so this is the platinum plus styler which apparently is really really good for curling hair as well so it's like even more rounded than the old one and i have to admit I am in the like 50% of people who don't know how to curl hair with straightness so maybe this will help to like teach me because it's more rounded but this is so pretty so it's just a red straightener with the gold detailing on the end and it's just a really nice like sleek design. I've actually not really seen these new ones up close but I really like them. They're really really swish and also they're a lot smaller than my other ones. I mean I'm comparing to like probably about 10 different types of ghd ago but they're really really nice and sleek and i really like those i also love the fact they have this rubber bit like i just said and also the little bag is really cute so i can keep it in my drawer and keep it away from everything else because at the moment i am just like wrapping my ghds up in themselves and then just chucking them in the drawer with all my other hair co hair tools um so it'd be good to actually have a proper little bag and then i got this which is so cool so this is actually from baked by steph but obviously ghd got them custom done and it just says this I'm not gonna read it out because this is a rude word, but basically the cutest thing ever. And I reckon these are gonna be such good biscuits because they look like kind of gingerbread style. So there's a little GHD one and then the wording ones above, which I'm sure me and Sam will be tucking into, but I'm actually gonna pop them in our cookie jar because I think these will probably be okay if I keep them in like an airtight container for a little bit because we're actually not dieting, I wouldn't say, but we're trying to be a lot healthier at the moment. So I'm probably gonna try and keep hold of these and have like one with a coffee every morning and keep them going for like a week as opposed to having them all in one day, which I would normally do. And then also I got another little package from Fenty. They're actually really, really, really good. So I've used the Pro Filter Primer for ages and I also, 
oh my god i'm literally throwing stuff around today and i also really really like the stunner lip paints i've got the unbutton and uncuffed which are beautiful shades if you haven't already tried them out i really strongly recommend because they are genuinely so 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 good um i couldn't fault them they last for absolutely ages they make your lips look bigger like whenever i put them on people always think i've had my lips done like genuinely the amount of times i get asked if i've had my lips done when i put that lip paint on as opposed to like other lip products is ridiculous but yeah very worth the money very 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 excited to try these new bits out so they've kindly sent me quite a selection of products here so i'm going to go through bit by bit so first we have three eyeliners which are let me have a little look what shades are these I've got Bank Tank, See About It and Purple Stuff, which is cool because they're a bit different to the classic black and I think they're the kind of thing that are really great if you are like me and I used to wear a lot of eyeliner. I used to wear really thick black eyeliner every single day and I went off it because I think it was just a bit too heavy for my face but these kind of things are perfect because you can put them on and it's a little bit of colour without putting loads of eyeshadow and stuff on but also it's not as thick and dark as black. Then we have three of these which are the Gloss Bombs. I've actually got two of these already and I couldn't tell you for the life of me what shade they are but they're really really nice so i've got two hotel chocolate and one glass slipper so i think i might give one of the hot hotel chocolate ones to someone i might give it to my sister um and then the glass slipper one is literally just a clear lip gloss so that's perfect for putting over lipstick i actually really like the look of lipstick um and lip gloss paired together and then this is the hotel chocolate one which is kind of like i'm really not in the best light for this right now but this looks kind of like a glittery is it glitter or is that it's like a glittery like dark purple which is quite nice so i'll have to try that one on and make a little like igtv or something with fenty beauty i don't know we'll do something with it but the glass slipper i will definitely be getting use out of and also look how cute the packaging is i really like the fenty beauty packaging I just think as a whole for saying it's a celebrity brand it's such a good brand like i think rihanna did really really well to make it not only like her own brand but also like it's just such good quality which i think is very very hard if you are someone who is in the public eye and then releases a line of anything then we have what it do which is a makeup refreshing spray so i'm sure this is going to be amazing as i said the pro filter primer i literally used every single day until it ran out i'm devastated it ran out i just haven't been able to replace it yet because i haven't been in to buy it and to be honest i just keep forgetting but i'm very excited to try this out because i love kind of refresher and setting sprays i think they're perfect especially if you live in london and you are on the tubes because no matter what time of year it is you get sweaty on the tube and your makeup comes off and if i'm running around for like meetings and stuff or i've got shoots it's really nice to just kind of like keep i just hit myself in the eye it's nice to just like keep your makeup on your face and then finally, I'm sure Sam will be very pleased because he sat the other side of this washing and he's probably getting really annoyed with the sound of my voice. There is these two, which are the Snap Shadow Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palettes. So I've got Peach and Rose, which are two different palettes. So this is what the peach one, look, uh, the rose one looks like, like dark pinks and stuff. So this is the little, let me try and tap it. My arms are like jelly because I've been to the gym. So this is the colours of this one. I don't know if you can really see it. I don't know if it's actually focusing on the product. So they're kind of like reds and bronzes and pinky tones, which I actually really like. On the packaging, it looks a lot brighter than it actually is. So I think I'd actually use these. Maybe not the pink, but like all the other shades are the kind that I would use all the time. It's just this one is kind of different for me. So that might be like maybe a liner colour, I don't really know. And then second to that, we have this palette, which does look more like a bit of me, but... I don't know now I've said that and seen the other one. I don't know if this is now going to be slightly different colourings because this is the colours I thought that that one would be, if you get me. So this one is peach and it's literally so peachy, the shades. They're all very kind of orangey shades. This would be great. Oh, I've lost a bit of plastic. This would be great for your kind of spring summer tones. Like I can imagine like these tones looking really, really gorgeous on a beach. So definitely think this one's going to be coming with me for various trips that I have coming up because those shades are stunning thank you very much to fenty and ghd for sending me those i'm really really grateful and i absolutely love them i will leave links down below if you wanted to get your hands on anything yourself or look it up if you wanted to see people try it or whatever because i know there's a lot of makeup people out there that try a lot of stuff so they will probably have done a better review than i could do um i might do an igtv if you guys would be interested showing these and just like going through what i think maybe doing a look with it all who knows i'll do something um but yeah i'm gonna sit on the sofa for a little bit and do some work like emails and stuff and then me and Sam are going out for dinner.
Good morning guys, it is Wednesday and we are heading for brunch. Sam and I are both ready really early so we're kind of just like sat around fully dressed waiting to leave. <laughs> we probably could just leave early to be honest but we're just sat around waiting. So we're going to head over to King's Road. Then I'm actually off to the salon to get my hair done because it's in dire need. Like you can literally see how far out these highlights are. Like the last time we highlighted is this bit. So that's like that much growth in like, I think when did I get it done? early December. We had it done the same time though, we've had it done this year. No, because I didn't get it dyed the next uh, time. Yeah, it must be so December. it must have been early December. So that's quite a lot of growth to be fair in two months. Um, and then basically like, I don't know if you can see this, but like back here hasn't been touched in a while. So we're going to potentially go balayage again. So I'm going to keep all of the blonde and just kind of like fade it back up my hair so that I can kind of leave it to grow out and it looks a bit more natural because this is great when it's first done but when it starts to grow out it just looks a bit rubbish so I think we've agreed that like I am a very minimal effort person with my hair and I probably should just have balayage because it's a lot less maintenance um but we'll see when I get there what we end up doing and as always and as always we'll probably do a few treatments and stuff but I'll talk you through everything and I'm actually going to film an IGTV of the exact process we go through to get my hair looking how it does because I get asked all the time about my hair care routine and what I ask for in the hairdressers or what treatments I get at the salon etc so I said to pack up, it'd be a really fun idea if we did an IGTV and I just show everything from the beginning when he starts putting the balayage foils in to like mixing the dyes to putting it on my hair, how long it takes, um, what treatments we use when we're at the sink, like all that kind of stuff. And then obviously just show you how he styles it and stuff at the end as well because I cannot curl my hair with straightness as I said yesterday and he is a pro at it, obviously he's a hairdresser, but it just always looks so good when he's done it. So I'm staying slicked back today, which I quite like and you really like, don't you? I really like you really it. like, I like, like this. Up anyway. Yeah, like Sam literally this morning was like, oh, it looks really nice. Like it's just nice and simple. So yeah, kind of liking it at the moment. It's also really minimal effort. However, trying to put clothes on because I did it first was a bit of a challenge. I had to redo it about four times, but it's so easy to redo and I haven't even put hairspray in it today actually. I have got a nice little flick at the bottom though. I don't know if you can see over my shoulder. <laughs> Look at that little flick. Okay, so I've just got to the salon and had a chat and I think we're going to do like baby lights and some balayage. So basically just make the colour a bit brighter again and a bit kind of more blonde because I've let it get really dark on the roots and I miss being like a bit more blonde. So that is the plan with my little mop. So we'll see what happens but I'm really excited. Also my hair is in such a good condition at the moment that I just can't wait to have it like a little bit blonder, a little bit more refreshed and just keep looking after it loads so that it stays in good condition. treatment on so oh we've got a lovely foundation on um i basically have had my hair shampooed i've had odaplex put on and now i've got a kerastase treatment which i talked about before it's basically to nourish and look after my hair after the blonde so i've got this on for 10 minutes and then i finally get out the chair because i genuinely feel like i mold into it sometimes because i'm here for so long <laughs> Nothing can break me. 
Okay, I've just got back from the salon and had something to eat and have to say I am obsessed. Like, I genuinely love my hair. I think it's such a nice colour and also it looks really natural so it's not like too blonde or anything. I mean, it is very blonde but you know what I mean, like it's not too, too much. And also, we've done it as a balayage. There's going to be a whole video on my IGTV, which I will link in the description so you can go check it out. But we actually tried to make it a balayage. So basically, because I said to Paco, I want something really low maintenance and something that I can kind of keep on top of without having to feel like I need to keep going to the salon. Like, highlights I love, but you can always tell when they're growing out and I don't want that. Like, I want something that doesn't look like it's growing out all the time and that can just fade really naturally so we've done this which is a touch balayage i think it's called and we took a little bit off the length so that it's a lot healthier again so i think there's not much of it to be fair like that's it straight so we haven't done too much it's just tiniest little bit because i said like i think where some of it's snapping and stuff it just looks a little bit kind of jaggedy which i think is quite natural so yeah also hair grows at different lengths so there's that too but i have come upstairs because a lot of things have come in the post recently like this whole corner is basically stuff that has come in the post for me or gifting or whatever so i'm going to put together the new rail which i just bought so i got this one from habitat which is the arnie and it's basically a really easy rail to put together and take apart so you can screw it together if you need to but i used to have this rail and i never screwed it together because there's like two bottom pieces and then a middle pit and the top it's really hard to explain but basically you can just slot it all together and it'll stay up so it's fine for me for putting it up and taking it down for styling videos so i'm gonna hang everything up and make sure that it's all kind of ready to go for sunday well friday slash sunday when i'm gonna be able to get around and film some so yeah i'm gonna stick you on a time lapse and i'm gonna put all of this onto a rail <laughs> Okay, everything is now on the rail as much as it can be. So that's basically all of the stuff for a couple of styling videos like Instagram TV. And then I've still got a giant box which has come in from H&M and stuff over there. The H&M stuff I actually did buy. I basically bought a load of stuff that is not jeans and not jumpers. So like different bits and pieces that I can style. Because I've realised I've literally just started wearing jeans and jumpers. So I want to start getting out of that and wearing like a few more different pieces. So some of this, for example, is some of that new new style but a lot of this is actually for trips that i'm going on in the next couple of weeks if you haven't seen my february travel diaries make sure you click the link in the bio or the card which tells you all about where i'm going this month there's two trips one is actually next week so you will have seen it by the time well you'll have seen it on instagram by the time this vlog goes up so that's exciting the other one is at the end of the month and i'm very excited for that one as well but i'm gonna go downstairs and run myself a bath and yeah just have a bit of a chill for the evening i think sam and i are going to try and finish watching next in fashion because we are on the semi-final and there's like two or three more maybe one more i don't know is there one more or two more i don't know anyway it's really really good next in fashion is amazing if you haven't watched it it's on netflix worth a watch so highly recommend and yeah i'm gonna head downstairs now i've done this Good morning! It is the next day. I obviously didn't film anything after my bath because we finished watching Next in Fashion, which is, by the way, the best series ever. And then I basically went to bed and now I'm awake. And that's a really exciting time of events. But um, I'm getting ready now because I have another therapy today at 10. So it's currently like half eight. It only takes me like 20 minutes to get there, but I want to just kind of make sure I'm ready and stuff before and then I can sit down for a bit because I'm the worst at not getting ready until the last minute and then not having time to sit down. So I'm trying to like reverse that. Um, so I'm going to do my makeup and stuff and chuck on some clothes. To be honest, I'm probably just going to put gym clothes on because I'm thinking what I might do is go there come back because i've got two hours before i then go off to my invisalign appointment at two 
So I think what I might do is just use that two hour break to like get some work done. And then as soon as I've got the Invisalign appointment over, I'm gonna try and go to the gym for a quick session. And then my sister and Sam's sister, so Heidi and Laura, who you've probably seen a billion times, are both coming over for dinner. So Heidi's gonna cook us a Thai green curry because she really wants to cook one. And it'll be nice because it's nice when the four of us get to chill together because it doesn't happen very often even though we all live literally within a 10 minute walk of each other. But um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. And it's gonna be a busy one. It's gonna be a very busy one, but I am loving my hair, have to admit. I've got it kind of half off my head. And when it's up like this, it does look a little bit darker, I think. But I also don't know if that's the camera um, because the bottom layers are a little bit less balayaged. And the top is obviously really, really blonde. So it does look a lot blonder when it's down, but I really like it. It's a very creamy blonde. It finally matches the color that I always edit it to on Instagram, which I love. So that's a bonus. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. And I just love it, really love it. So it's gonna look great in all my Venice pics. <laughs> um, but I better get ready because otherwise I'll stand and chat for 60 years and that's not good because I need to get ready. So bye. Okay, so I'm driving back from my little appointment and I don't actually know what you can see of me right now because I can like, I have the giant fluffy thing in the way, but it was a really good session. I do find sometimes they're a bit worse than others in terms of like, sometimes you go really in depth about like different things that maybe make you upset or you talk about things that maybe you realize and it doesn't make you upset. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, all in all, it was a really good session and I just feel really good. I feel like I'm really inspired and motivated and I just feel really good and happy. So that's a positive. And I think I took away some really good values and lessons from that session. So very, very much appreciating that, appreciating that. Um, and now I'm going home to try and sit and do some work bits so I need to film some little bits to do with my video that should be going live tomorrow but I don't know if I'm going to put it to Monday which is my Gucci Times Disney review and I'm actually really excited to do it because I'm basically I've already filmed all the like little clips I just need to do a start and a finish um, and talk about different things so I'm going to put that live and then I've got my Invisalign being fitted at two which I'm obviously going to vlog and I'm very I'm excited but I'm nervous so I know that they've got a fit little like markers onto my teeth um, but I don't really know how that happens or what they do like I don't really know how that works and I'm a bit worried because I was like oh what if my teeth have moved because it's been two months since the scan like what if they've moved and now my teeth are really different and it's gonna really hurt um, but I'm sure it'll be fine I know it's gonna hurt to begin with anyway because it just does like that's just what happens so we'll see hopefully it'll be fine um, and then obviously <laughs> my clips later today and for the rest of the foreseeable future will be really lispy, but it's okay, it's fine, it's good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking because I do this thing when I'm driving where I just chat away, which is why I don't car vlog much because I genuinely just get carried away talking. Um, and I end up just talking my thoughts, which just ends up being a whole scrabble of stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna get myself home. I'm gonna make myself a soup. I'm gonna film this Disney video. There's a guy picking his nose in a van, which is super disgusting. Um, and yeah, I'll probably catch up with you in five minutes when I walk in my front door. I'm back home. I did say it wouldn't be long until I'm doing another clip. And here we are. Um, I'm actually getting ready to shoot a quick campaign picture but I realized that I need my hands to be in the shot and my nails look a bit gross at the moment because I haven't had time to get them done. They're just a bit like scabby. So I'm actually gonna stick, so I'm gonna stick on some nails because I actually often use the Elegant Touch stick on one. So I have hundreds in the drawer. Um, so my thought is just put some of those on that look really pretty. Like these, for example, that are just plain pink. Um, and then you should be none the wiser. Actually, I might do blue. These are really cute. These are like just plain blue with like little bubbles on them. Um, I've got so many. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go with the blue. Well, these are quite cute. These are like glittery at the bottom. I've got like full on glitter ones. These are for when I went to Disney. They're like really, really glittery. I might take these this time actually because I think I'm just gonna not get my nails done, just use stickies. But do I go nude or do I go blue? What do we think? Nude or blue? Doesn't really matter because by the time you watch this I'll have done it, but I'm thinking blue. <sighs> Make a decision, Jess. <laughs> what do you think? Pink's the most classic, but blue's just cute. Pink are also shorter. Let's go pink, they're shorter. 
and it's easier to manage. Right, I'm gonna take off the scabby nail varnish that is on my nails and put some new on. The one thing I actually love about Elegant Touch is they come in like these two trays so they basically like stack on top of each other and this is essentially one hand and this is another hand so like that one is the same size as that one and then obviously like that one's the same size as that one and stuff so so like this one is the same size as this one and that one's the same size as that one so whatever you pick on here that fits you just get the opposite in there and then it also comes with a little glue as well so I'm going to stick these on because my nails look awful right now and then get back to you when they're all done. Doo -doo -doo -doo.